Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. First of all, I have a new background and you have no idea how I came up with this one. So uh, I don't know if you guys know or not, but in my real life I work with computers and I, for a longest period of time, was thinking um, what type of background to use. I didn't want it to be loud. Uh, I didn't want it to get dirty very fast. And I was struggling and struggling and struggling. And I didn't want a plastic or rubber or any type of, you know, kind of like a vinyl. I, I didn't know what to do. So I was working on the computer and all of a sudden I'm looking and I was like, mouse pad why not to use mouse pad so i bought a really big mouse pad yes it might get dirty but it is washable all, all mouse pads are washable it's soft it should make loud noises so we'll see but first can we address my nails today i think they look like um what do you call them june bugs those green ones look at this the change color green and purple and then green again and wow it's pretty cool anyway we're gonna try this one also i turned off overhead lights because i'm thinking it gives up a lot of um, shadow so we're gonna try this and see if it's gonna be dark or not all right let's get going it's a new bag it's it's a pretty big bag so I'm not sure how much we'll be able to go through but right away oh look at this there is no noise not not none at all no clinging nothing oh I just made a big mess I need to get out this uh, this ones okay let's take a look let me kind of move you guys uh, higher a little bit and see because I don't want to have this, you know, see this um, kind of um, go in and out of focus. So let me try to fix this. All right, so I moved you guys upper a little bit and I fixed a little bit of focus. So hopefully this will fix all the technical difficulties that I have uh, was uh, made aware of. Okay, first these are these magnetic bracelets or uh, magnetic necklaces whatever you call them um, this one however the green one is very cute and it does have um, a little bit oh now we don't have a focus not now i'm gonna if i need to bring into focus i'm gonna have to do this if i'll be able to so you guys see right here we have hmm that's very strange. Right here we have uh, cloisonne beads. So I know these ones are more popular than the other ones. So let's see. I probably, I am going to try, but I'm not sure how it's going to work with um, getting the focus precise focus but we'll see how it works so yeah so these ones are magnetic let me know otherwise i'm gonna put them to craft next we have um seems like a bracelet toggle clasp this uh yeah this one's a real pearls but i'm not quite sure if they were if they were um coated with anything it's kind of interesting i think they were coated with something because see right here it seems like a uh, coating is coming off huh interesting not sure if let's see it is not mag oh this one's magnetic I, I i'm not sure what yeah probably um this one's probably gonna go to uh, craft as well 
Okay, what else? Ooh, this one's interesting. It looks, it reminds me of Cheek House. Oh, it is Cheek House. Here we have Cheek House. So, and this one right here is probably um, a shell also. That's pretty neat. I like this. I like this necklace, silver tone Chico's necklace. Single earring, putting it aside. One more single earring also aside. All the single earrings will go aside because I'm not quite sure if I have pairs for them. Also like this single earring. Okay, so let's see. Gold tone necklace. It says right here says the limited. Hopefully you guys can see on the limited gold tone. The condition is pretty good. Very clean pretty long necklace yeah probably can um, do it twice or three times one more single earring aside silver tone necklace no maker um, mermaid yeah this one is a craft One more single earring. Right here we have a um, necklace. Black chain. Pretty long extender, no maker mark. And then we have the black and gray rhinestones. I think all the rhinestones are here. Here is the back. Here is the front. Um, oh. Here we have a fashion ring. I think all the rhinestones are here. Um, and that one is adjustable, silver tone. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Pretty cute ring. Moving right along, right here we have a glass art glass necklace uh, foiled dichroic glass so the necklace has a silver tone barrel clasp it's pretty long so i would think we can maybe wrap it twice it has um, very small seed beads and then we have glass uh, faceted beads and then art and dichroic glass beads and, and, and the heart. Okay, oh, this one is cute. Let's see, let me turn on my Presidium. While Presidium is warming up, um, I think these ones are glass beads. They're very dark blue. There's a silver tone uh, barrel clasp. It's a pretty small, um, let's see, where is my measure? I think it's a pretty small bracelet. Yeah, it's 7 inches bracelet. Let's see. While we're waiting for Presidium, right here is one more single earring. Putting it aside. Okay, let's see. You know, it, it's not even glass, probably acrylic, acrylic dark blue beads bracelet. Okay, what is this? Right here we have another necklace, satellite, 
faux pearls. Yeah, faux pearls. I'm not I'm not really liking this, the condition of the pearls. Not quite liking it. It has a little bit of glue. If you can see right here, there's a little bit of glue to make it stick. Where's my magnetic? Yeah, I'm not thrilled with this quality, so me personally, I will put it to craft. Right here we have a thread with um, terracotta heart. And the heart is painted. Another silver, um, not silver, a single earring. It's pretty cute, but um, I don't have another one. Right here we have a necklace, I think. Yeah, I need to bring neck for this one. It's very interesting. I'm not sure who, um, who this is. Let me show you guys right here. It says uh, WHBM. Yeah, I think it's WHBM. Yeah, WHBM, Silver Tone. Now, I'm not quite sure who WHBM is. So let me close this and I'll show you how it looks like. It does have an extender. So we have this, it's like this, and then we have the necklace comes to a V and then a very, very long kind of a pendant that does have uh, small circular plates and clear rhinestones. So basically what you have is right here, like small silver tone discs and rhinestones and a very, very long um, pendant, I guess you call them, or a dingly thingy, okay, okay, oh, this one's probably, let me see, no, I don't, I don't see any, anything, yeah, I don't see any maker marks, Let's see, how does it work? Like this, so it's fold over, clasp. I think a couple of rhinestones are missing right here, but other than that, I think all the rhinestones are here. It's, it's like this. It's pretty cute, but it's lightweight. It's not uh, like done with a great quality. It's not too bad, but not you know, high quality. Okay. All right. Stretchy bracelet with, um, look like seeds, different colored seeds. What else? Pair of uh, silver tone small hoops. No makeup marks. Perfect. Oh, there is another. Um, silver tone necklace, a very, um, yeah, th this one will be, uh, guys, craft. I, I don't like, um, you know, it might look pretty, but when you touch it and you don't kind of feel quality, yeah, that this one will be craft. Right here we have a single Christmas earring jingle bells one more uh, single stud earring yeah please comment in um, in the video if you guys want if you like it this way or you prefer different type of um, zoom because before I had a multi kind of point and right now I have 
um, kind of a single point so I'm not quite sure which one is the best so right now I switch to multi point and see I can bring it up and oops oh, my earring fell so multi point is basically do you see if I put my hand down you can see everything clearly but when I bring my my hand closer to the camera you see my background is getting blurry so a lot of people I'm worried uh, about other people watching it. it I don't want them to give it like a vertigo or some kind of a you know issue so you guys let me know which one is better when I um, do multi-point and it constantly goes in and out of focus like see like it goes in and out of focus or if I do a um, manual like no matter what I do it stays in focus but I cannot zoom in um, see it's getting blurry when I bring it closer and what I have to do if I want to make it um, kind of closer to you guys I, I'll, I'll, I'll stay here in the same position but I just zoom in on a phone itself so what do you guys prefer watching it like this and me just zooming in, in like this or or doing this like uh like this way so it goes automatically it zooms in on an item that comes closer to the camera so please let me know guys honestly i i don't know okay sorry about this techy tech talk i it's you know i work with computers so i'm a tacky person i'm a nerd basically you know what i'm saying i'm a nerd anyway uh, next one is a stretchy bracelet with hematite they're magnetic um, condition is really good pretty pretty cool bracelet right here we have a silver tone necklace with a um a pendant i'm not even quite sure this is yeah this is a uh, plastic pendant there is no um nothing um there's no stamps no no nothing else so i'm not quite sure all right one more single earring putting it um aside right here we have a silver tone chain with um i think this one is a chinese letter maybe also not sure a uh, silver tone pendant right here so see i don't have to guys um make you guys um zoom zoom in because i just have it um have it closer to you like this and it automatically focuses on the item that closer to the camera okay so right here uh right here we have a single earring uh, with plastic flower putting it aside one more single earring this has peace written on it one more this one most likely silver sterling silver we'll need to test but so for now i only have one of these earrings and i'm not quite sure what do we have here uh maybe glass and it kind of resembles a little bit my nails also still put it aside uh right here we have a push pin for the nurses i am thinking it's a brassy push pin nurse hat and then we have prescription bottle band-aid and a thermometer it's really cute and we have oh yeah it says something oh it's a jj guys look at this it's a jj this is so cute this is the cutest thing ever don't you think okay what else um okay so this would be a craft item um uh, floral not sure if it's painting and says brave right here so this will be um, a craft item okay we have a little bit of okay all right so a silver tone necklace there is no maker marks uh no stamps um by the way if you guys hear any kind of shouting or anything my son in the next room he's playing games with his buddies so and he's getting very excited i think they're winning <laughs> 
All right, so uh, right here we have a very deep purple glass cabochon. And right here we have a clear crystal glass rhinestones right here. Okay, very cute necklace with very beautiful pendant. This one is very deep purple. Now we have a okay bundle of plastic bangle bracelets. This will be craft. Oh, look how cute this glass pendant is. This is kind of a 3D pendant. There is gold foiled butterfly on a black background and it's one is an art um, glass pendant. Gorgeous. One more fashion ring gold tone with uh, colorful rhinestones. Okay, this one also, um, it's probably some broken um, earring. We're going to put this one to craft. I have, uh, have a cross here. I will need to, <coughs> I will need to test it. It's not magnetic. Okay, take a look at this. Uh, this looks like, to me, it looks like an uh, Orthodox Christian cross, maybe, or Catholic. Uh, you know guys I, I don't know honestly I don't know you guys let me know and this is the back right here it says something please call please call a priest um yeah very beautiful cross down <clears throat> one more uh, ring gold um, coppery color actually um, there is a little bit of copper wore off on the stretchy part and right here we have flowers green flowers green petals they are acrylic acrylic petals and yeah seems like they're an acrylic green acrylic petals Hmm. Oh my goodness, I, we forgot to take out the baggies, guys. We started without taking out the baggies. Anyway, you know what? Let me show you something. Throughout some bags, throughout these bags, I keep on finding these kind of things. At first, I thought they were buttons, but there is no hole right here. So, um, do you guys know what these are? This is how they look like. Um, there, there are no buttons. Uh, I mean, there are no holes. They're just like this, and they all have different decorations. This one is plastic with green flower. This one has uh, pink rhinestones. I, I see quite a few. I'm gonna put them aside, and I'm gonna make them a craft items because I honestly have no idea what their purpose is. So I'm gonna put them aside. Uh, we have a, I think it's a plastic necklace with some very beautiful glass beads. So let me put it a little bit um, back, pull you guys back a little bit. Yeah, it's very cute um, necklace, plastic bead and a couple of art glass beads. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, uh, first let me grab this one. This is a huge necklace uh, made of seeds, as far as I think, or plastic that um, looks like seeds. I honestly don't know what to do with this. Some love it, some don't, but I have no use for them. And I usually put them to craft. Okay, let's see if I have any more baggies. No, it seems like we only have two baggies in this bag. Oh, one more. See, one more of those like button looking things. This one is in the plastic baggie. Yeah, 
and put it to craft. All right, let's take a look what we have here. So right here we have a baggie that has some items. They have a lot of rhinestones. Okay, hope they're not broken. Oh, what is this? It's very pretty, but... Oh, I think it used to be a brooch. And it could be um, a pendant right here. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring you guys in because it's very bright. So it could have been a, like some kind of hook right here. Right here could be a brooch, but there is no needle. It's very beautiful, very shiny and bright and sparkly. I have two of those. This one has a needle right here. Um, so I have two. I also have... Oh my goodness. Oh, here's the needle. Here's the needle. Let me see if I can fix it. Give me one second. Well, I was able to guys fix it. It's a look, it's fixable. But what I found, like this one works fantastically, but what I found is that one link fell off in the middle. It's very, it's not broken. It just needs to be pushed in um, because it does have um, a kind of a thing to push it in. All it just needs to be pushed in and it will be like this. This one is absolutely perfect. You know, this one's, I mean, they're gorgeous. And what is this? Let's take a look. Um, it seems like it's a necklace. Oh, it's a gorgeous necklace. Oh my goodness, very sparkly. Yeah, it's beautiful uh, three-stranded necklace, okay? So I'm gonna put it back right here. Oh my God, when I was looking at it and fixing it, it's, it, it's blind, blinding. It's very bright, okay. All right, let's take a look what do we have here. It seems to me like it's a bag of silver chains. All right, this one's pretty. Oh yeah, this is a silver chain. I will show you the closures and and 925 is right here. Oh, right, right there. I think it says 925. Oh no, on this side it says Italy. What about on this side? Let's take a look. And on this one says Italy, but it's most likely. Oh, what about here? It says 925, yeah, 925 Italy. And look at this, look at this pendant. What a gorgeous pendant. And it says, also 925. Let's take a look what Pre Presidium says. Hmm, Presidium says uh, tourmaline. And what about the, this clear one? Glass. CZ. CZ. Um, I would say it's the CZ, guys, uh, because it was very low line. Oh, pass, um, it was past uh, glass, but I would say this is very beautiful CZ. Okay, we have one. And what else? Oh, here's another one. Let's see if it's silver. Um, this one I'm not quite sure. I don't think I see anything in the stamps. No, this one I'm not quite sure. But let's see what 
a stone says on the pendant. CZ. Very beautiful CZ. So far it's a silver tone. Uh, if need to be tested, I will. And that's it. These are just... Oh my goodness, this one is broken. Look at this. All open and... Oh my. Yeah, this one are just silver chain and this uh, lock is completely like busted open. Yeah, these ones are just cha silver chains. I usually keep them for my pendants, silver pendants, so I can make necklaces. All right, but these ones are pretty cool. I'm going to put them right here. <clears throat> and the color on this uh, heart, I, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but it's very gentle, kind of muted yellow color. <clears throat> Look at this silver chains that's what silver chains are for i think so we have a definitely silver right here it says nine to five here it says nine to five this one is larry mar that's what i am thinking i know there are a lot of people who will correct me if i am wrong but i think this one is larry mar beautiful pendant single gold tone hoop earring um, bracelet oh no does it open oh yeah a silver tone bingle bracelet no maker marks it opens and closes like so right here with rhinestones Rhinestones are in place. They're glass rhinestones. So you just like this and see there is a hole right here and it just snaps close. There we go. Pretty neat. Stretchy bracelet. Uh, stretch is like so so. Faux pearls and glass. I do believe these ones are glass. Yep, glass faceted beads. Yellow. Oh my. Yeah, this bingle bracelet is going to craft. It's plastic, guys. I think it's plastic. Uh, stretchy bracelet, plastic beads, also craft. Stretchy, another stretchy bracelet, wooden beads, color, wooden colored beads. Uh, yeah, I think this one is craft also. Yeah, let's see. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, okay. Very cute. Let's see. Got a little bit of items. See this why I didn't really want to have uh, light, but this one is a gray background and it's uh, washable. Okay, so right here I have a single earring. It's only one. I think it's plastic right here. Oh no, it's glass. Right here is glass. And there's something is on the back. Let me see what it says. Is it upside down? Huh, I, I don't know. You guys, do you guys know what it says? 
I think it says 9 to 5. 9 to 5 Mexico, but something. There are three letters before 9 to 5. ATI or something. Yeah, so I'm not sure it's... Um, yeah, but I only have one. So Right here we have... Uh, Pandora look-alike kind of a bracelet um, beads are glass it says joy on this tag then we have I think love yeah glass beads they do not have 925 stamps I thought something was saying on the bead but Yeah, so, but um, beads are glass. Okay. Another bracelet, very cute bracelet with ga uh, glass, a green dichroic glass um, square beads, silver tone. I have a pair of clip on earrings for pearl, um, black enamel clear rhinestones and it says Nina Nina Ricci what seriously that's the first time I've seen Nina Ricci this is so cool I don't even know if it's valuable or not I remember from my like teenage years like her perfume Nina Ricci perfume was really cool but what do you guys think about the clip-on earrings we'll need to research our tribe what do you guys think they're in a really good condition um, they're probably 90s right we'll take a look um, this is a single earring. I think I might have one like this, but I honestly want to save some time for us guys not to look for it for now. Um, let's see. Oh, I think I... Oh, this one's pretty cool. I wonder if there's anything in the back. No, there is nothing on the back. But look, let me turn around. Look how it's made. It's like 3D effect. This is so cool. Oh, something is missing right here. Oh, this thing is missing like this. Oh, that's sad. Let me put aside it, but I'm not sure I have another one. Another single for now. Um, another single earring also. Um, I have this plastic cabochon studs what else push pin um, cancer awareness very cute I wonder is it like a pattern or something made in USA okay I like when it says made in USA Alright, pretty cool. Uh, right here we have a necklace. Very well done. I think this one might be silver though. Stones are real. It's a shepherd's hook closure. Real stones. I can feel the coldness. They go to... Hmm, let's see. Amethyst line. Yep, they're an amethyst. Maybe there's some kind of quartz, like a moth quartz or something. I'll show you closer. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous green color. See? We'll need to test for silver. Perfect necklace. Um, look at this. This one, like, there's a chain right here. There is a hook, chain, and then on the bottom you have this strand of dark green, light green, clear green faceted beads. 
one more single earring glass but it's still like single um faux pearl i would think again single there are more single earring this one is pretty cool this one i can say it's i think this one is silver guys and a stone is real but then again i only have one so i'm not gonna spend much time on this i have one um what do you call it um cuffling yeah magnetic i think this one looks like southwestern cufflink and one more earring plastic roses i think they're plastic <gasps> they're what hold on one minute let me oh yeah yeah the probably i accidentally touched that's interesting. Yeah, I think I accidentally touched metal. Yeah, that's plastic. Black plastic roses, one earring. A few more single earrings. Um, I hope we'll find their mates. This one, very light purple color plastic cabochon one like this and one uh, colored pearl yeah there is no mark right it says 95 I think on this one but I don't think there are any stamps on on um, on the stud pretty disgusting guys oh yeah there is a stamp on the stud right there i think yeah right here says 95 it's like the ones we found the um dark purple last time so this ones are a green but i need to find another one yeah this one looks like a real pearl but i i need to find another one I don't have it. Uh, one more cufflink. Yeah. Single one. So let's take a look at this necklace. So we have gold tone chain barrel clasp 1928. 1928. And right here we have a gold tone uh, tiny, tiny, tiny locket. Probably half an inch. Less than half an inch with... Um, uh, cameo she is looking to the left but she has a ponytail it's most likely acrylic cameo i need to open I'm, i i don't think i'll be able to open with my nails yeah i don't think so but it seems very very new practically yeah new new condition so here we go what is this this is gold tone necklace chain with a uh, two circle for a pendant let's see can we do a couple more things okay right here we have a style and co style and company silver tone earrings original price 2250 from from Mises. okay 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 there you go earrings oh see again another single earring one more this thing what are those guys they don't have like a whole what are those like so many another one look another one 
What do you do with these? I want to see what this is. Hey, you come out, come out. Oh. Okay, this is very thick brown fabric cord. I think there's like a, a wire inside because it's bendable and it's just wrapped with brown cord. Okay, this is, I don't know, we like broke a chain probably when I was just pulling. And right here we have a pendant. Ooh, look at that. This one is silver, guys. Silver, silver, silver. Look, let me show you. Right here we have 925. And I don't know what this is. What kind of stone is this? It's very shiny here, but over here it shows a little bit of its druzy. And right here we have a pearl. Let me take a look. It goes uh, right in the middle of tourmaline line. Right in the middle. I, I have no iolite. What is this? Garnet? It's very shiny here and then it has a little bit of druzy over here. So cool. I like it. I don't know. If I, if, if I would save it for myself, I probably would exchange this cord for a silver chain, like on a thicker side. But it's just me. Okay. Oh, right here we have a cat's eye. No, tiger's eye necklace. Very cold. And it has like metal beads right here, tiger eye and metal beads, and I bet they're silver. Yeah, I, I can definitely test for silver because the closure does have a 9 to 5 stamp on right here on its tongue. Yeah, on this. so I would think this beads are silver also. Nice necklace. Oh my goodness, this is big. Hold on. How do I take this one off? Wow, that's very interesting. Cuff, cuff bracelet. Uh, gold town. So, pretty cool. Interesting. I don't think this has any maker marks. No, no make marks. Okay. Um, wrap bracelet. Like a, I think it's a faux leather. Faux leather and like um, suede right here. Burgundy color. Gold toned spikes or studs. quite sure how to yeah it's all twisted okay and one more single earring not not sure if I have one of those uh, very familiar but not sure uh, what is this okay let's take a look at this bracelet gold tone very small, maybe for a baby or a small, small uh, lady. Um, you know what? No, it is not. For, I, I am seven and I am able to put it. So it looks like this. If you're smaller, you can just, you know, make it closer. Yeah, very simple bingle bracelet. All right, silver tone chain. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, it's 18 karat gold plated. Okay, 18 karat gold plated chain. And we have a heart that kind of looks like an apple, maybe an apple because it has a stem and a um, leaf. There is a full leaf uh, clover. 
it's resin yeah I don't have any I don't think it has anything yeah, very very cute very cute pendant heart and a four leaf clover in it and the 18 karat gold plated chain all right next I have a rope necklace uh, kind of like a choker push uh, and pull um, uh, let me show you guys I think this one is might be um, an ivory because it doesn't look like a bone to me very smooth very smooth very nice there are a little bit like brownish things right here that would can be indicative of a bone but let me guys know what you think there is a pendant all right and this is oh my goodness what is this this is a probably craft yeah because i'm not not quite sure what this is i know it's a necklace i just um not a best not a greatest quality this one is copper this one silver tone yeah yeah so all right so how we're doing we're 15 um not 15 50 minutes in let me grab more items a little bit uh and let's see let's see all right i think we we're gonna do this and then we'll take a pause all right so right here we have a bracelet um breast color it's pretty pretty big like i don't i have no problem it might be for arm or yeah no problem getting on and off i'm not quite sure what here is also probably a bone right here or it might be a horn you know yes it might be a kind of a horn inlay quite neat um, silver tone chain pretty clean a lobster claw um, here we have a pendant it's probably glass um, it goes beyond glass just a tad okay right one more bingle bracelet needs to be washed pretty dirty kind of like yeah i'm not quite sure what's on it oh let's see what it says there's some kind of a writing right here spindel spidel yeah spidel usa a uh, very dirty bracelet it's just you know um it seems like a juice was splattered on it i don't know it doesn't open um so spidel a silver tone bracelet okay uh oh no this uh, this is goes straight to craft oh it's yeah <clears throat> one more um, bracelet bcbg bcb generation uh pink faux leather with a cross okay right here we have a torque necklace gold tone um, i usually put them to craft also oh you guys too close so let me move you back a little bit so right here is a torque necklace i usually put them to craft unless you want them let me know um okay uh, this one is banana Re banana republic silver tone necklace oh my goodness come on there we go um it's pretty cute actually banana republic pretty cute the slings they have kind of they encrusted with the rhinestones and then it comes down to multi multi chain so not too bad all right let's see what else we have here 
Um, right here we have a bracelet. I think this bracelet and uh, the single earring that we found um, come together. Yeah, I think they're, they go together. I just need to find a second one. See right here we have a stud earring and we have uh, the same kind of element right here in the bracelet. But these are plastic. Yeah, these are plastic. And let's see who makes you. Uh, let's see. Uh, SAG. I think it says SIG. Right. I'm just going to put it aside for now. Um, I might have one more earring like this. Uh, very familiar to me. Uh, again, this one is might be glass or natural stone. It's just not turquoise. All right. Oh, look at this elephant. Okay, right here is ear wire for, for an earring. Look at this elephant. Look how cute he is. He has gray uh, rhinestones and pink rhinestones. Oh, he's uh, just a cutie pie. It says right here, it says... It says something. I probably will need my loop. Well, it says S-U-C-H. Yeah, it's, it's probably just the way my light lighting is. Yeah, a very shining, but it says S-U-C-H. Oh, and it's most likely says right here also S-U-C-H. Right here. Yep. S-U-C-H. There we go. But it, he's just just a cutie pie. Look at his black eyes and different rhinestones. He's cute. Okay, and the last for today, I have this silver tone chain. It says also the limited. It's a silver tone chain and it comes down to this pendant and pendant has the chain tassel, flat, flat tassel. It's pretty cool. I kind of like holding it in my hand. Very nice to touch. All right. All right, guys, let's take a break. Um, this bag was pretty big. We did half of it. So let me know what you think about the big mouse pad as the background. I'm going to wash it right now, but all I need is to just wipe it with a damp cloth, with the damp clothes. And no, with the damp what? Cloth. Yeah, what am I saying? Clothes <laughs> with the damp, damp cloth and um, that should be clean. Now, what do you think about my nails? It's pretty cool. I kind of like being different. Oh, look at this green, red, green, red. And also, what do you think about um, the, you know, in and out of focus? Let me know if you would prefer uh, steady focus or like I can bring back and down. Well. I mean, by all means, any suggestions, any comments, constructive criticism, as long as it's constructive and comes with a suggestion, I will take it. All right. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I love you all. Bye.